not too long ago, San Francisco, California had another hearing in regards to paying black Americans reparations and a Chinese American woman by the name of Aaron got up before the panel and said this, check it out. My name is Erin Kimura. I'm a fifth generation Chinese and Japanese American and a fifth generation San Franciscan. Um, I'm here today to fully support black reparations because this is the bare ass minimum. Period. The bare ass minimum. Um, history is enough of a reason. The dehumanization that we've seen is enough of a reason for why we need redress and reparations now. Um, this is not an impossible reality, right? We've seen this with the Japanese Americans in the late 1980s. They received on a federal level reparations. And the fact that black folks and our black community and our brothers and sisters are still waiting for a formal apology. Oh, we. I'm just going to leave that there just to simmer. Um, and I just really want to note, especially as an Asian American woman, I would not be here if it were not for the black liberation struggle, the black freedom fighters, culture creators, and the world builders that have fought for my liberation. So. Thank you. Thank you. So as you heard her say, you know, that the United States government still hasn't given a formal apology to black Americans for what happened to our ancestors during slavery. And she also went on to say, if it wasn't for what we have done and our ancestors have done, that she would not be able, you know, basically to do the things that she's doing. So she's saying that she, as a fifth generation a Chinese American, has benefited from the black struggle. Well, you know, some of her folks, uh, fellow Asians, don't agree with that. As you can see here, a tweet from an Asian page on Twitter basically outlined what she said and they put a whole bunch of emojis throwing up like they were disgusted by that, right? Like how dare her tell the truth and that they are the direct beneficiaries of the black struggle here in America. See, they don't want their people telling the truth because they too think like white supremacists. They think that, oh, well, you know, black people don't deserve reparations, even though as she said, Japanese Americans got reparations for what was done to their people, but black people who have experienced the most horror than anybody on, on the planet, uh, black people in America, we don't deserve reparations. So for one thing, I wanna say big ups to that um, Asian woman there for putting her neck out there. Cause I know it wasn't easy, especially with her people. How dare you, you know, you don't speak up for black people and all that, especially in San Francisco where they're trying to make black people the boogeyman, right? Because that's partially how Asians got their hate crime bill was due to some of the stuff that they, you know, caught on camera, black people doing the Asians. So, you know, I know it wasn't easy for her to, to go against her community and say, hey, you know what? Nah, I agree with black people, run them their money. It wasn't easy for her to do that. But the other thing is it shows that uh, her opposition is from her own people. They, they don't want black people to get a leg up at all. They have bought into the ideology of white supremacy, that black people are bad people. We are unworthy and all that. Even though a lot of Asians make a lot of money from black people, they still do not believe we deserve reparations, even though they people got reparations. So again, big ups to that Asian woman for uh, speaking truth to power. And we need more of that. We need more people from other communities to say, you know what, enough with all the racism and hate. Run black people their money. It's the right thing to do. So y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.